one morning I was checking my Twitter feed and I saw a kind of a strange sight. Kyle J. Howard was retweeting the President of the United States of America. That was not something that happens very often, so I decided to look into uh, what the retweet was all about. The tweet simply said this, Racism. And the tweet from Donald J. Trump said this, LeBron James was just interviewed by the dumbest man on television, Don Lemon. He made LeBron look smart, which isn't easy to do. I like Mike. Hmm, I thought. That doesn't seem to be very racist. Seems to, be, seems to me that he's calling people he disagrees with dumb, and then someone he agrees with better. But they're all black. Not really sure what's racist about that, so... You know what? What I'll do is I'll just make a comment about... I'll just retweet Kyle's retweet. Hmm, I've got to think of a good one, though. How can I put this in a way that'll be funny, but it'll also make the point I'm trying to get across? I've got it. Preferring Michael over Don Lemon and LeBron is racism. Yeah, that's a good one. <clears throat> Later that day, Kyle J. Howard responded to me. Now this was very surprising because I was convinced that I was blocked or muted. But here's what Kyle J. Howard said. That's not what I said, nor the implication of my tweet. You know that though. Misrepresenting and committing libel against other saints has been a pattern with you as of late. It's sad. Still love you. Praying for you. Have a blessed day. Heart symbol. A few minutes later, he also subtweeted me on his own Twitter feed. I won't lie, I'm still daily amazed at the lengths people will go who profess Christ to try and discredit other believers just because they disagree with them. The slander, the hate, it truly is astounding and scary. I love these precious people. I'm burdened for their souls. Heartbreak symbol. Misrepresenting, I thought to myself. Committing libel, I thought to myself. You know, I don't really understand any of these tweets. I'm gonna need some help with this one. Thought to myself, how can I interpret this tweet better? <gasps> I know! I'll consult the guide. Okay, guide, I need some help. Can you help me interpret this Kyle J. Howard tweet? Of course I can. Here's a list of definitions that might help you interpret. Slander, the crime of disagreeing with someone's position. Libel, a public statement disagreeing with someone's position. Hate, intense or passionate disagreement. Misrepresent, to represent a person correctly, but to point out the problems with the position he or she holds. Have a blessed day. Obey my virtuous command. Heart symbol, angry symbol. Hope this helps. Goodbye. With the help of the Guide to Social Justice Warrior Newspeak, I felt a lot better. I could understand Kyle Howard's tweets to me, and it made a lot more sense and made me feel very good. That's not what I said, nor the implication of my tweets. You know that, though. Representing a person correctly, but pointing out the problems with the position that he has and a public statement disagreeing with the positions of other saints has been a pattern with you as of late. It's sad. I still love you. Still praying for you. Obey my virtuous command. I won't lie, I'm still daily amazed at the lengths people will go who profess Christ to try and discredit other believers just because they disagree with them. The crime of disagreeing with someone's positions, the intense or passionate disagreement is truly astounding and scary. I love these precious people. I'm burning for their souls. Obey my virtuous command. Well, all right. I don't know why, but I feel compelled to, to uh, clarify that the previous few minutes was a joke. I don't believe that uh, Kyle J. Howard wants me to... Obey my, my virtuous, virtuous command. command. No, <laughs> I saw these tweets, and I just... It's just such a 
a very typical example of, of Kyle G. Howard's perspective. Um, and and, I, and just, let me just set this straight. I, I do believe that uh, he cares about me, or at least he thinks he cares about me, and that he wants me to have a blessed day, and that he's praying for me. I believe him that he prays for me. And actually, uh, you should know, Kyle, and I'm assuming that you watch these videos because you told me that I'm a, I commit libel and I slander, so obviously you wouldn't say that unless you actually know what I say. Um, but, but actually, I pray for you almost every morning. I mean, not, I mean, not even joking. Like, I have a, a calendar invite in my work calendar every morning at 8:30 that says, "Pray for Kyle J. Howard." I mean, th th this is this is this is my perspective of you. I don't think you're my enemy. I don't hate you. I don't any of those things. I know you think I do, but but I don't at all. Um, I actually really do care about your soul. Um, however, I think your perspective is very dangerous. I think it's unbiblical. I think it's very dangerous to the saints. And that's why I am aggressively opposing it. And here's the thing. You say that I slander you. You say this all the time to people, that they slander you, that they're committing libel. And these are very serious accusations. And I, I know you know that. And I, and I believe that this is a strategy to get people like me to shut up. And I'm not going to, because I know I have not slandered you. I know I have not committed libel against you. I know I'm not misrepresenting you. Here's what I am doing, though. I'm opposing your ideas. I represent your ideas, and I interpret them according to a biblical worldview, at least in my opinion, and I oppose them according to biblical standards. That's what I do. I don't slander you. See, for slander, I'd have to say something untrue about you, and I have been very careful not to do that. Um, I've never called you a cultural Marxist. I've never called you a social gospel proponent. In fact, I've defended you against people who have called you those things. What I have done, though, Kyle, is I've called your ideas influenced by critical theory and cultural Marxism. Because they are. You might not know that they are, and you might not be self-conscious about that, but the reality is when you cite these income inequalities and you say that that's an injustice, that's not coming from the scripture. That's coming from somewhere else. That's coming from a lens of critical theory and cultural Marxism that you might not even be aware you have, but you have learned it and you start and you and you're repeating these things. Uh, an income inequality, a wealth inequality, these things are not injustices. Um, unless you have a critical theory, cultural Marxist worldview. And again, I'm not saying you know this or you're self-conscious about this, but you have it. And so, um, you, know, you know, Kyle, here's what I want to say to you. You really need to grow up. When somebody disagrees with your perspective, even if it's aggressive disagreement, which I will admit, my disagreement with you is intense. It is aggressive. When somebody disagrees with your perspective, that's not the same thing as slander. That's not the same thing as libel. And I gotta be honest with you, I, I, I don't understand why you think I hate you. I've never said that in my videos. I've never said that you're an enemy of the church in my videos. I know some people from my perspective do say that, and I'm not one of them. Um, I'm giving you the benefit of the doubt. I don't think that you're doing this intentionally, but the things that you're saying are very dangerous to the very people you claim to help. I know you don't think that it is, but I'm, I'm demonstrating. That's what I do every single day in my videos. I'm trying to demonstrate biblically why that is so. And so you might not agree with it, and I'm okay with that. You might not like me, and I'm okay with that. Um, however, let's grow up. Enough with the slander, uh, saying that I'm slandering you. Enough with the uh, saying I'm, I'm committing libel against you. This is just ridiculous. Um, it's not libel to disagree with someone's opinions. It would be slander if I was saying something about you that was untrue. If I said you're a cultural Marxist and you're not, well, okay, I, I understand why you might say that that's slander. Um, but I haven't said that. And in fact, Kyle, uh, if you can go through my videos or my tweets or anything and, and find a time when I've called you a cultural Marxist or I've called you something that you're not, um, I'll, I'll PayPal you $100. Right now, I'll, I'll, I'll donate it to your uh, biblical ethnic uh, reconciliation ministry, your counseling ministry, your, your, uh, your, your ethnic uh, racial trauma ministry. I'll give you $100 to your ministry if you can show me a place where I called you a cultural Marxist. And I'm not, I'm not talking about where I call your ideas cultural Marxist. That's very different. If I called you something that you're not, um, I'll give you $100 to your ministry. That's my challenge to you. By the way, if anyone can find that, I'll, I'll still give Kyle J. Howard $100, and I'll apologize for it, okay? Anyway, hope this was helpful. God bless, and God bless you, Kyle J. Howard. It's 8.42, and I haven't prayed for you yet, but I will after this video.